With over 3,400 participants online, this year's virtual conference has become a truly global gathering space for those committed to disability inclusion. With so many attendees from all around the world, it is easy to forget to mention the backbones. <laughs> So I'm hearing an echo. I'm hearing a, a, quite a big echo. Um, would you please uh, turn off your mics? Uh, yes, please, please turn off the mics if possible. Thank you. Uh, with so many attendees from all over the world, it is easy to forget to mention the backbone of global gatherings like these, namely trusted partner organizations such as the King Abdulaziz University. Thank you so much for part of the session. It's a great pleasure and honor to have you with us today. Without further ado, all the best for this session. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ernest. Thank you. Uh, hello and welcome everyone uh, from warm and nice weather, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Uh, this uh, session is organized by King Abdulaziz University. It is about empowering people with disabilities in higher education and beyond. Uh, an accessibility feature in this session is we have uh, Arabic sign language and also we have international signing by Mr. Uh, Roman Wall, if I pronounce the name correctly, and Mr. Mark uh, Denmark. Okay. Uh, also, we are using the closed captioning uh, feature of the uh, Zoom. Uh, software. I am your host. My name is Wajdi Wazan. I am the Vice Dean for Students with Special Needs uh, at uh, King Abdulaziz University. I am an Associate Professor of Industrial Engineering and I run the services for uh, the many students with disabilities at KAU. Uh, just uh, a little bit about KAU, it is the largest public university in the kingdom. Its mission is community responsibility, knowledge, development, research, innovation, and entrepreneurship. It is always ranked on the top of the Middle East universities in many ranking systems. Let us take a look at the agenda, just a quick look. We will have His Excellency, the President of KAU, and some short films after him. Also, we have a distinguished panel that I will introduce uh, whenever they are their turn. So, uh, with pleasure, I would like to introduce Professor Abdurrahman al Yubi, President of KAU. Uh, His Ex Excellency is a Professor of Physical Chemistry. Uh, held various positions at KEU. Uh, he has so many publications, including publications for the advance, advancement of deaf education in the kingdom. He's the president of KEU since 9, 2050. Uh, with honor, uh, uh, Your Excellency, please go ahead. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rajdi. Uh, uh, in the beginning of this vital meeting, I would, I would like to welcome all of you, extending my sincere thanks and appreciation to the Zero Project team and ESSL Foundation for the, their kind invitation to KAU to participate in this vital event by presenting its effort to empower persons with disabilities at higher education and beyond, especially in the 
and its uh, and ICT aspects. Ladies and gentlemen, I am really pleased to tell you that KEU is the, the first to put strategic goals in order to empower persons with disabilities through accessible education, employing them inside the university and via cooperating with business sectors to find suitable jobs for this noble category after graduation. For the accessible education, KU has managed a, a strategic plan to accept my, any student with any kind of disability and needs responsible uh, accommodation, uh, uh, needs re reasonable accommodations. I am really pleased that KAU hosts more than 25% of the total number of students with disabilities in the kingdom. For, for employing this category in KAU, there are several ways to increase the number of the persons with disabilities involved in KAU staff or as students. And we are doing our best to attract qualified, qualified academicians and staff members to join KAU academic staff, hoping to achieve 4% of total workforce by 2025. KAU mission towards students with disability Will be will 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 be uh, heaven and uh, uh, and and truncate without doing this best to help them to find suitable and uh, rewarding job after graduation. So we are have set many agreements to cooperate with several uh, companies and orga organizations such as Cadron uh, uh, in this regard. To conclude, I I'd like to say that KAU has been working, uh, is still in uh, working and will continue to fulfill the programs and uh, initiatives for the 2030 vision of the kingdom. And it's worth mentioning that all these steps are carried out according to the high instructions of the custodian of the two holy mosques uh, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz and the Crown Prince uh, Prince Muhammad bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz. Thank you for your very, very much and wish you all the uh, best for uh, the, this meeting and on this vital meeting. And really, we are very proud to join you at, for. Uh, this meeting and uh, uh, really uh, we will do our best to uh, serve this these this uh, the, uh, our student uh, who have some uh, disabilities uh, uh, and uh, and we will increase our effort for them uh, in the future thank you Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Uh, we always appreciate your leadership at KAU and your personal uh, at, at, uh, uh, attending to students with disabilities and encouragement for us to be the best university in this regard. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, in, 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 in accordance with the, uh, uh, His Excellency Pre President uh, Abdul Rahman, we have this short movie about 
including students uh, with disabilities and, 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 and also staff at King, King Abdul Aziz University. Okay, as we, this is just a little bit of the efforts inside the university and our effort will not be complete uh, without uh, cooperating with other entities outside uh, the, the, the university. Uh, our next speaker is Dr. Hisham al Haydari, is the Chief Executive Officer of the Authority of People with Disability. He has held many leadership positions for renowned hospitals and medical cities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with over 22 years of experience in the areas of rehabilitation and disability, as well as having published many research articles that touch upon enhancing services provided for people with disabilities in the Kingdom. Dr. Hisham uh, holds a master's degree from the University of Manchester, United Kingdom, as well a PhD from Luma Linda University in the, in the United States of America, uh, both in rehabilitation. With pleasure, Dr. Hisham, please proceed. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rojdi. Hi, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really happy to be with you this either to say evening or morning or afternoon for some of us. I'm really honored to be with you in this conference. So allow me to uh, give my speech. Uh, in this era, human endeavor is 
reflected in striving for morality in our action. Our inner balance and even our very existence depend on it. Only morality in our action can give beauty and dignity to life. We as the authority of people with disability are proud of being part of the government that praises all its citizens, aspire to create a vibrant society in which all the citizens can fulfill their dreams, hopes and ambition to succeed in a thriving economy. Establishing in 2018, the authority of person with disability become the representative body of people with disability in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and is a key driver for improving the quality of people with disabilities life in all aspects, including social, professional, and legal. Steaming from our values, mission, and vision, we aim to bring together key entities in enhancing and providing people with disabilities services, achieving quality, impressing inclusion and accessibility as well to superior, to superior services governed by comprehensive legal and regulatory framework. In the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia vision for the year of 2030 has directly emphasized on the importance of the enabling people with disability to contribute to the community and take part in the employment which impressed our role and further had our responsibility toward providing adequate and upscale services for rehabilitation, training, and most importantly, education. Considering Vision 2030 and guided by our role in inspiring and nurturing the human spirit through encouraging deep collaboration between people with disability and wider community, while attending to our beliefs that the person disability does not determine the level of the potential that they acquire. We collaborated with the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology in Saudi Arabia to empower people with disabilities to be part of the labor market and prepare them for the change in the nature of work during the digital era. Our collaboration to do this through enhancing people with disabilities technology, capability and skills in the work field aligned with the needs for the labor market. While supporting them through the entire job search process and making sure that their ability and skill and skilled blossom and shine so that all what they have dream of in the matter come true. In this regard, the collaboration included an initiative of working closely with the most effective employment platform, which is LinkedIn, where we aspire to benefit by promoting people with disability in Saudi Arabia and enabling them to build a business network and connect with recruiter, which in, in return makes them strive in the market. Apart from that, we also seek to highlight the needs, obstacle, aspiration, and priorities of people with disability in the kingdom through our wide scale research and study initiative. While working together with various government and private entities to overcome those obstacles and remove all barriers that comes in the way of achieving people with disabilities succeed and dreams. People with disabilities are challenged by their surrounding and environment. Therefore, as part of our role in, en in enhancing their life, we hope to be the driver of change in the community where we aim all to raise awareness of disability, causes prevention and early diagnosis method, along with the treatment and care services provided to them in the kingdom. We recognize the importance of working hand by hand, protect the right of people with disabilities. And this is where we find pleasure in building a community that understand equality, inclusion, and giving back to their community. In this regard, we encourage people to go beyond the limits of their 
thought as the opinion of others are nothing more than self-limiting beliefs that will stop them from achieving their success. Allow me to uh, say one of the world famous and most influential theoretical physicist, Stephen Hawking, as he said, one of the basic rules of the universe is that nothing is perfect. Perfection simply doesn't exist. Without imperfection, neither you nor I would exist. We, the authority of people with disability, are committed to continuously support people with disability in the kingdom and build them a universe where their imperfection are only perception that does not determine who they are and what they can achieve in this world. I'm really glad, I'm sorry for the extended speech, but today that meeting and conference and with the all that global and with the different diversity that we have in this platform, this shows how much the disability doesn't need any barriers in the world. And we prove this by being all of us together this night. Thank you. And it's for you, Dr. Wajdina. Dr. Wajdina, I I would like to thank you, Dr. Richam, for your great words, and we hope that Kingdom is going for the right path in changing laws that will include people with disabilities in every aspect of life. Thank you very much, Dr. Richam. Uh, our next speaker is my uh, friend and the Vice President of, uh, of KAU for Academic Affairs, uh, Dr. Abdur Al-Mun'im Al-Hayyani. Uh, Dr. Abdel Menem is the chairman, uh, in, in addition to his position at KAU, he's the chairman of board of trustees of Ibn Sina Medical College. He's the editor-in-chief, uh, journal of microscopy and ultrastructure from 2012 until now. He's a professor in the Department of Anatomy, uh, Faculty of Medicine. Uh, Dr. Uh, Abdel Menem has many patents in his field. And uh, he is inspiring us in the uh, education sec uh, sector, um, education aspect at KAU. Uh, with uh, pleasure, Dr. Abdelmanan, please proceed. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Wajdi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, brothers and sisters, it's, it's my pleasure and honor uh, to be part of this wonderful congregation today. Um, part of the wonderful activities organized by the Zero Project, uh, as King Abdul's University is actually uh, so proud to be part of uh, uh, this congregation and to participate significantly to the education of uh, this very important uh, group of our community, uh, which is the people of disability. Uh, let me tell you actually that we at King Abdul's University uh, like um, taking um, uh, a very important decisions to integrate uh, people of, with different disabilities to our educational community and to establish whatever requirement actually is required to be one of the leading universities uh, in, in this field. Uh, I wanna actually take this opportunity maybe to talk about some of the significant issues that's been taken uh, in our university uh, to fulfill those tasks and the strategic plan. First of all, actually, is the university strategic plan. And this plan actually is always uh, taking in mind and in consideration the um, engagement of the people of disability and uh, uh, like um, uh, putting together all the requirements to make our environment is uh, uh, friendly for all kinds of disabilities uh, in the structural wise infrastructure and of course in the different uh, programs uh, uh, to be suitable actually and accessible uh, by those different people with disabilities. The second uh, point that we are so proud that we are 
now pushing in, in our university is the governance uh, of uh, the disabilities and the educational, the different educational um, uh, programs uh, to, in to enhance and to give different options uh, by establishing uh, a governance uh, which would allow uh, people of different disabilities to access the different educational programs in the diploma level, in the bachelor level, and of course, in the uh, uh, postgraduate level, whether it's a master degree and the PhDs. Uh, we have uh, wonderful examples of a, a wide variety of disabilities that is there. And we, we are now uh, like working uh, with the, to, to enhance this governance, to include more and more of those specialities in, the, in, the, in, the, in our university. The third, uh, point that I want to highlight today uh, is the, um, uh, uh, like the structure, uh, educational structure uh, that we, we are so proud now, we are moving to establish. Uh, uh, like uh, maybe 10 years ago, the university uh, established the first center to help people with disabilities under the deanship of student affairs. And just a few years ago, about uh, four years, three, four years ago, we have established, we have like converted and transformed this wonderful center to uh, the first vice deanship uh, for the student with disabilities in the, in the, in the, uh, at the university, uh, which is unique of its kind. It's the first of its kind, maybe in the whole, uh, definitely in the whole of, uh, uh, of Saudi Arabia, maybe in the whole of the Middle East. And uh, very soon, uh, we're gonna transform uh, this structure, which is the vice deanship uh, for student disability, to be an independent institution. And uh, that institution has been approved in the university board. And hopefully, very soon, we're gonna see this institution uh, like life. And um, uh, we're gonna see actually uh, uh, many actions being taken actually to put. Uh, uh, all the academic structure required. So this institution will do its job by more empowerment, more integration, more engagement, um, and more chances uh, to our beloved uh, student and staff uh, with disabilities. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Wajdi, for organizing uh, this wonderful session. Uh, we again, actually, uh, here announce uh, that we are very committed to work with all international institutions to carry on uh, uh, like the efforts of uh, our country under the Vision 2030 to um, give more empowerment and engagement to the uh, different student disabilities. And hopefully we can, our, our ex experiences will be actually uh, of benefit to everybody in, in, the, in the whole world. Thank you so much again, and I wish you a wonderful sessions in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Professor Abdelmenaim, for your words, and hopefully that the Institute on Disability will be a landmark in the region uh, that will, will advance the, 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 the cause uh, for, for inclusion in the Middle East. Uh, uh, let us watch this uh, uh, short film about innovation at King Abdul Aziz University. Uh, this project was uh, uh, funded by the uh, National Transformation uh, 2020, uh, and it, it won the, the, the Zero Project Prize last year. So let us watch it and then we'll continue. Thank you very much, Dr. Abdelman.
قررت باللغة الإنجليزية إلى صيغة ديفيس الفورمات والتي تميز Okay, thank you very much. And uh, we have uh, so far uh, spoke about how to empower students in the university. And uh, we heard from Dr. Hisham about uh, uh, how to, 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 to include them in the nation uh, wide effort by uh, his, his entity. And uh, now we will uh, have in the uh, remaining time, we are good in time. We have will have two from uh, two of uh, the, our business partners that we, uh, especially Kadirun, that we have great cooperation with them uh, to 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 train our students and find jobs after graduation. Uh, I would like, uh, with pleasure, to introduce Mr. Amr Khashoggi, co-founder and chairman of the board uh, of Kadirun which is Business Disability Network. Uh, it's one of its kind in the kingdom. Uh, Mr. Am is the chairman of uh, Amr Khashoggi Trading Company a Group. Because he's also chairman and major shareholder of Saudi Global Gypsum Company, chairman of the board of Jeddah Environment and Sustainable Development Company, board member of several companies that include United Warehouses, Jeddah, uh, strategic advisor to Amr, uh, Kik, which is the King Abdullah Economic City, the new city north of Jeddah. Uh, with pleasure, Mr. Amr, please proceed. Uh, thank you, and hello, everybody. Um, I'm honored uh, to be on this panel of uh, highly distinguished uh, gentlemen and lady. Um, it's uh, wonderful to be able to uh, work uh, together uh, in tandem to help uh, people with disability uh, in all facets uh, of life, whether in education sector or in the business sector or in the government uh, and public sectors. Um, uh, around uh, in 2014, um, we, we decided that um, there was a missing link uh, in, in this whole ecosystem of helping people with disability. Um, first of all, um, you have charities that work with uh, people with disability from the time that they are children until they reach the age of, of, uh, uh, of education. They, they, uh, then they go to universities or schools and get educated there. Um, and then they need to work. And uh, 
really the private sector uh, and even some of the organizations in the public sector and the nonprofit sector, which are the three the three major sectors for providing employment, um, did not know how to deal with people with disability, uh, did not how to create, uh, did not know how to create an environment that that is conducive. Uh, uh, for them to be productive and, and, and helpful. Um, so that's where Qadirun, uh, and Qadirun is an Arabic word, which means able. Uh, so they are able to work and we are able to hire them. And that's the, the principle and the precipice uh, by which we, uh, we decided to, to move forward with. So we, we uh, created Qadirun, um, uh, a group of us, uh, got together and, and, uh, and, and basically we became an employer's network uh, throughout uh, Saudi Arabia. And uh, we, have, we were invited to be members of the disability, uh, business disability forum, global forum of the International Labor Organization in Geneva, which is a big honor for us, uh, for Kadirun to be uh, invited to be a member. Uh, of that, and uh, we we learn a lot of best practices from uh, from our association with the ILO, um, and and we are connected with many international organizations uh, that help us uh, uh, to with with the number of cases that uh, we learn from, and and we try to apply it locally here, taking into consideration our our customs and traditions. Um, and, and so we, we completed the, the, the cycle, the, the whole ecosystem. And what we do in Kadirun is, is we, we help to, with recruitment services, uh, we help with uh, educational resources, um, be they in, in, in terms of, of uh, providing um, employers with, with material uh, on how to deal with uh, specific types of, of disability. Um, with the training programs, uh, whether it's for the people with disability, we, we rehabilitate them and help them and train them, and uh, or we provide consultancy services and various workshops, including uh, sign language uh, training uh, that, that we do there. We are very proud to be uh, partners uh, with, with uh, with the university, uh, with KAU, and, and really, um, uh, I can't thank them enough uh, for all the help that they are providing with us. And we do uh, several workshops uh, throughout the year in order to see how can we become more, more efficient and more effective. Uh, we are also, we work very closely uh, with Dr. Hisham, um, and uh, it's, it's wonderful to see you, uh, Dr. Hisham, uh, in this panel. Um, we learn a lot uh, from Dr. Hisham, uh, specifically when it comes to regulations and, and policies and procedures that the government is, is trying to do. Um, I, I'm sure you've seen um, references to Vision 2030, which is the, the kingdom's uh, vision that was promoted by uh, King Salman and, and the Crown Prince, uh, Prince Mohammed, uh, where uh, it is very important to, to include and to uh, recruit people with disability uh, throughout. Uh, and, and this is an, an extremely important point. So we are all meet together in order to implement and make sure that that vision uh, becomes a reality. Um, we, we are always um, working very hard around the clock in order to see how we can improve uh, uh, the the lot of the people with disability, whether they are in the education sector or whether even in the city, we, we signed an MOU with the municipality of Jeddah in order to try to make the city of Jeddah a, a place where people with disability can feel uh, comfortable and served uh, as they should be, uh, whether, whether in terms of, of uh, walkways or streets uh, and so forth. And we advise uh, the, the municipality uh, to a great extent on, on, on how to create that environment. Uh, we are also uh, working very closely with uh, various commissions like uh, the Sports Commission and the Entertainment Commission 
that any events uh, also take into consideration um, uh, to, to create a, a universal accessibility uh, in, at all the events uh, that take place. Uh, obviously, with the COVID-19 uh, has created many challenges and um, that, uh, that forced us to, to look at what can we do in terms of using technology uh, to make sure that the people with disability remain employed uh, and not to become uh, also a victim of that. With that, I think I've, I've run out of time. So I, I want to thank you all uh, for inviting me on this panel. And Dr. Wajdi, uh, thank you uh, again uh, for all your help and support. Uh, thank you. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sheikh Amr. And uh, we, have, we are good in time. So uh, if you want to then add something at the end, we, are, we have, I think, more than we are we're doing very good in time. So thank you for, for your effort with, with, with the, uh, people with disabilities. It's uh, Qadirun is a landmark here in Saudi Arabia in, in, in connecting uh, businesses and people with disabilities. And uh, I always run to Qadirun when I have students that are looking for training or jobs, especially good students. And we, are, we have many, many, many successful stories but the, the time will not allow us to do that. If I have, uh, Dr. Wesley, yeah. if I have just one, uh, one quick minute uh, Go ahead. To, to just mention that we, on, on December 3rd, which is the Day of Disability, as you know, uh, we participated in an international program called Purple Light Up, which is, uh, started in New Zealand and ended in Los Angeles over a period of 24 hours. And uh, Qadirun uh, was lucky to have one hour uh, in order to create mm -hmm. awareness of what, uh, what are the things that we are doing there. It is available uh, online uh, on the Purple Light Up. Uh, and uh, honestly, I think that this is great. I think this, this uh, also the Zero Project does the same thing in terms of creating awareness. And I think this is the most important thing for all of us is to create as much awareness as possible about the people with disability, uh, what are their aspirations and how we can meet their aspirations uh, moving forward. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, let us proceed to Ms. Noura Al-Jibali. Uh, uh, Ms. Noura is the uh, consultant and owner of Mu'ama program at the Ministry of Human Resources and Social development. Uh, the Wamuama program is, is, is looking to make sustainable working conditions for people with disabilities in private section, sector nationwide. Uh, she worked 14 years in the employment, uh, in employment and policy development capability building and advocacy in the area of disability. She is now the expert advisor to the CEO of the Authority of the Care of People with Disability, Dr. Hisham, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. With pleasure, Ms. Noura, please proceed. And I will lower the, 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 the slides so that people can see the uh, signals uh, more clearly. Go ahead, please. Seven minutes, please, and then we will conclude. Hello, Sahla, Dr. Wajdi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much to give me this chance to be a part of this event to talk about the one of the important projects uh, for persons with disability in Saudi Arabia. In the beginning, we believe in Saudi Arabia that the accessibility is to promote equal opportunity for persons with disabilities by providing support services and accommodations to achieve accessible environments. Now I will talk about uh, the scope of Mu'ama and relation to Vision uh, 2030 uh, and start by uh, Crown, Crown Brand saying, we will enable the people with disabilities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to obtain suitable employment opportunities and education to ensure their benefit and integration as active mem members of the society. We will provide them with all the facilities and tools that help them to achieve success and independence. Based on that, the work has started according to this direction in the Ministry of Human Resources and Social Development. And we implemented MUAAMA project 
and the aim of this project to enable the employment of people with disabilities that are capable of working in the private sector by developing specific policies, regulations, procedures, mechanisms, and applied tools to help entities provide sustainable work opportunities. The program is launched in the implementation of the Kingdom Strategy of the Rights of people with disabilities that active across all the ministry's programs and services. Now, how can we prepare the work environment to be suitable for person with disability? Uh, we can make it suitable by applying eight main standards. We call it Mua'ama standards, which is the commitment, then the knowledge, then the requirement, the recruitment, then the HR management, and the product and services, techno, the communication, and the facilities. And to have more information about this standards, please visit the website for Muwaama to know uh, more details about each standards, okay? And you will see the system of Muwaama is optional, not mandatory for the companies. And you will see also the journey for the entities. It's uh, four stages starting with the registration, then the self-assessment, then the auditing, then the evaluation. After the completing the journey, uh, the identity will have the certificate. And there is four classifications for the certificate, starting with the gold, then the silver, then the bronze, and in the end, participate. I'm sure now that uh, it came to your mind how many identities certified by Muama. And we are so proud because we exceed the target by achieved more than a thousand identity certified by Moama around the kingdom. After we achieving the target, now it's time to focus uh, on the direct needs for a person with disability in this project, in the Moama project. And we have developed and launched Moama application. And the Moama application uh, is the, the idea of the application to let people or let persons with disabilities aware about the accessible locations around them in the kingdom. Also, the applications provide the application provide the offers and discounts and jobs and free sign language, and each of a person with disability can suggest or complies for any services uh, in the uh, kingdom. And thank you so much, Dr. Wajdi. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Nora, and uh, for the, this uh, brief introduction about Moana. Uh, it is a huge program that is, uh, we are full of hope that it will uh, empower students, uh, people with disabilities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have only as the uh, Zero Project, uh, Mentor, tell, 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 tell me is we have only a few minutes, two minutes or three minutes. Uh, so I would like uh, to thank our active partners uh, for, for uh, advancing the cause of inclusion in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And uh, I am, uh, we have a long path, but I, I always say it is a promising future. Uh, we are in the right path right now uh, in the education field in the legisl legislation side uh, from Dr. Hisham and his authority and from the businesses business side. For our part, KAU is advancing research, innovations, and services for people with disabilities. Uh, we are proud of our accessible environment so that we are now having 25% of students with disabilities in higher education in Saudi Arabia. This is a huge percentage. Uh, we are proud of our solutions. Last year, we won the uh, Zero Project Award, and also we won the Jeddah Innovation Award also last year. Uh, as uh, our, uh, His Excellency, our president and the vice president said, we, our next endeavor is the Institute on Disability. It will open new horizons for students with disabilities in the Middle East. We are planning uh, to 
to, 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 to uh, improve method of teaching in higher education and in the mainstream education. And we have partners from around the world to establish this institute. Uh, it's a big endeavor and uh, I am hoping that we will do it and we will succeed in that. So at the end, I would like to thank Zero Project and SL Foundation. I'm sorry, it is ESL, sorry. Also, uh, our distinguished speakers, uh, all of them. I, my thank also to my dean, Dr. Masoud al Qahfani, who always facilitate everything that we need for students with disabilities. Thank you, attendees. And also thank you, my colleagues at the Vice Deanship for Persons with Disabilities for putting all this together. I wish we can see you next year with all of us in Vienna. It was a wonderful experience last year. And uh, uh, with that, I would like to conclude because we are running out of time. We have to stop before the end of the hour so that they can go back to the studio. Uh, Ernest, thank you very much. If somebody has to add something or a quick remark, we will be happy to do it. Otherwise, we will conclude. Mr. Amr, go ahead, open your mic, please. I was saying uh, thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs> I didn't want to take thank time. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Richam, Dr. Abdel Minan, uh, Ms. Noura, everybody attendees. Thank you very much. I would like to thank the people who did that. Uh, signing for us, uh, I mentioned their name at the beginning, uh, Mr. Abdullah Gandhi, thank you very much, Abdullah, and Mr. Clark, Clark Denmark, Mr. Clark or Mr. Uh, Roman, thank you very much for your sign, okay, bye-bye, have a great day, thank you.